Hey guys, I'm Mike from theparkprodigy.com and on today's video, we're gonna break down the 13 best things to do here at Universal Orlando. So if you're in the process of planning a Universal Orlando trip, you're gonna be want to sure to stick around until the end as we're gonna break down all the best things that are waiting for you here at Universal. I'm really excited for this video. Let's go get started. So number 13 and the most important one on the list of the best things to do here at Universal Studios Florida and that is visit the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Now Harry Potter fan or not, this immersive experience is simply amazing and something you'll only get to experience here at Universal Orlando. We have two lands, Diagon Alley, which I'm at, and Hogsmeade over at Islands of Adventure and there are a ton of subtle nods and t Easter eggs and everything that you love about the movies and the books, you'll get to experience this. Not only that, but it has some of the most popular rides here at Universal. Specifically here at Diagon Alley, we have Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts. Then over on the other side, we do have Hogsmeade and we have Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. We have Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. And we also have Flight of the Hippogriff. Now, last but not least, we can't forget the Hogwarts Express, which is included with the Park to Park ticket to take you back and forth between each land. Be sure to go and check it out. It truly lives up to the hype. So number 12 on the best things to do here at Universal Studios Florida, and we would say stick it with the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, try a butter beer. Now, this famous drink from the books and the movies, as we get the dragon in the background interrupting. Now this famous drink from the books and the movies has been a favorite snack here at Universal ever since the Wizarding World of Harry Potter opened. This butterbeer flavored snack comes in hot, cold, and you can even enjoy it as an ice cream. Simply amazing. If you've seen it from the books and the movies, you're definitely gonna wanna come and check it out when you're in Universal Orlando. Okay, so moving on to number 11 of the best things to do here at Universal Studios. Again, we're sticking with the Wizarding World of Harry Potter because it is so popular, and we would say explore some of the other activities in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, specifically for this one, the wands. Now, you guys will be delighted to know that Ollivanders has two locations, really two in-store locations here at Universal Studios in both parks over at Diagon Alley and, and Hogsmeade. Now, guests can go in and enjoy and buy their favorite wand, or even a select lucky guest will be chosen for the wand ceremony ceremony where the wand chooses the wizard. Now, guests can experience and pick their own wand based on their birthday, their favorite Harry Potter character, and so much more. You can see there's a lot of fun stuff going on over here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Once you buy your wand, if you decide to upgrade and get the interactive wand, you'll be able to jump around and go to select magic spell locations and really get to use your wand. Not only that, but there are some amazing merchandise stores based off the books and the movies, some really cool shops for treats based off the books and the movies there's just so much going on here at the wizarding world of harry potter that you see like i said from 13 all the way down to 11 now you simply will not want to miss this okay so number 10 on the list of things that you simply will want to do here at universal studios florida and that is ride et now you might be surprised by this one but the main reason is this is the only original ride remaining from the Universal Studios that a lot of millennials like myself remember from the 90s. Not only that, but let's say if you're coming with your whole family, your parents, millennials bringing their parents back, bringing their kids now, everyone can get to go and experience E.T. for themselves together. And we think that's something that you simply can't beat, something that you can only do right now um, because, again, it is the only original ride left. So we had to add it to the list at number 10. Okay, so number nine of the best things to do here at Universal Studios, and that is explore City Walk. Now, right outside of Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios Florida is a megaplex shopping slash dining complex called City Walk. Now, there are over 20 restaurants here in City Walk, not to mention some amazing stores for you to shop at. The main Universal merchandise store is here as well. Plus, if you're looking for some real fun outside of the parks, they do have a movie theater, mini golf, and so much more. Not to mention, if you're into sweets, be sure to go check out Voodoo Donuts. If we've done some videos on Voodoo Donuts, they are amazing, and it's one of only six locations in the world. So if you're into donuts, maybe start your morning out over at Voodoo Donuts. Our favorite restaurant is Cowfish. Again, if you're looking for some dining options outside of the parks, don't sleep on City Walk. Be sure to come check it out. It is so much fun. Tip number eight of the best things to do here at Universal Orlando, and we would say use early park admission. Now, if you've been watching our videos, you already know that we love early park admission. We think it's such a game changer, especially when you're visiting Universal, maybe for only one or two days. It will help you get on so many more rides, specifically the two most popular rides, 
Hagrid's Magic Creatures Motorbike Adventure, and the Velocicoaster. Very simply, Universal has early park admission at all three parks, Islands of Adventure, Universal Studios Florida, and Volcano Bay. Now, when it comes to Universal Studios Florida and Islands of Adventure, like we said, it really is for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which really is a fan favorite with families coming to visit Universal. So as you can see, this is a huge game changer, like we said, and we definitely recommend that it's one of the best things to take advantage of here in Universal. Okay, so number seven on the list of the best things to do here at Universal Studios Florida. And you might be wondering, Mike, what is there to do outside of the main two theme parks? Well, of course, we do have Universal's Volcano Bay. Now, I'm trying to give you a little idea of what the vibes are with the Margaritaville in the background here, but it's definitely island vibes, very tropical. You'll have the water slides. Actually, in fact, you'll have the tallest water slide in the world at 125 feet with a trapdoor allowing you to free fall but you also have some other amazing water rides universal markets it as a third gate and it really is the rides are amazing lazy river wave pool everything you would want for a relaxing day so if you have the relaxing day or you want those type of vibes go and check out volcano bay Okay, so tip and trick number six of the best things to do at Universal Studios, and we would suggest stay at a Universal Orlando hotel and plan a day to enjoy the amenities. Now, Universal has a ton of variety when it comes to hotels. They have a ton of variety and a fit for every family budget, family size, all that good stuff. You guys can make an entire day out of it, enjoy some of the amazing pools that they have here, plus some of the added benefits such as arcades. They even have some lazy rivers going on in some of the hotels. And of course that bowling alley over at Cabana Bay. But overall, you'll have a great time and you'll get some relaxation and you'll see the theme parks are a lot. Spend some time, relax, take it all in, enjoy your vacation. That's number six. Okay, so tip number five of the best things to do here at Universal Orlando. We would say visit during one of the special events. Did you know that Universal has a few special events throughout the year, specifically Universal Mardi Gras, Universal's Halloween Horror Nights during Halloween, and of course, the holiday specials over at Universal, specifically Grinchmas. Now, again, we would highly recommend if you're into, you know, Mardi Gras, Halloween, or Christmas like it sounds, try to plan and come during those times of year. Now, Mardi Gras, of course, is gonna be in late winter, early spring. Halloween Horror Night starts in early September, and then Christmas and Universal starts right around like November 13th, um, the second week of November. And those are just some of the ways for you guys to enjoy the parks with some specially themed fun. Okay, so number four on the list of best things to do here at Universal, and we would say upgrade your ticket and get the park to park, specifically to go and ride the Hogwarts Express. Now, not only will the park to park ticket allow you to, just like it sounds, hop around and go and experience more than one park within the same day, but it is needed to go and ride the Hogwarts Express. So this is really something that if you have Harry Potter fans in the family or if you yourself are a Harry Potter fan, again, this is something you simply will want to do because you need it to ride the Hogwarts Express and one tip we will say is make sure you ride the Hogwarts Express back to back, meaning go from Hogsmeade over to Diagon Alley, then make sure you go from Diagon Alley over to Hogsmeade because it's gonna be a different experience. And again, that's one of the reasons why we love it so much. I will say the park to park ticket is a really good option for families with you know older teens or you know adults visiting Universal because it, it might be difficult to you know get the little kids to go from each park to each park. So it's not the right fit for everyone. However, if you are Harry Potter fans, like I said, it is simply a must do. Okay, so number three on the list of the best things to do here at Universal Florida, Try one or all of the roller coasters. Now, this is one of the things that really sets Universal apart from our friends over at Disney is the amazing roller coasters. Not to mention the newest roller coaster, which is the Velocicoaster, which is the fastest shooting coaster here in Florida. But we also have Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, which, uh, listen, a little tip, I do think is the best ride here in Orlando. And over at Universal Florida, we do have Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts. We have Hollywood Rip It Rocket. And you know what? I can't forget the amazing Hulk coaster. So again, if you're into roller coasters, those are gonna be some of the things you simply will not wanna miss, must do's on our list. Number two on the list of the best things to do here at Universal Studios, and that is meet your favorite characters. Now, we're over at Universal Studios Florida where you can meet The Simpsons, you can meet Donkey and Shrek, Despicable Me, and we can't forget about SpongeBob and his friends. Now, of course, going over to Islands of Adventure, you can meet some more characters over there. Specifically, the biggest and most popular one right now is the Raptor Encounter. So if your kids are into the characters, we actually have a full guide on all the characters at Universal Studios that I'll leave a link to in our bio so you can go check that guide out so you are as prepared as possible for your next Universal trip. You make sure that you get to visit your kids and your favorite characters.
So number one on the best things to do here at Universal Orlando, and this might seem like an obvious one, but have fun. Now we wanted to make sure to include this on the list because we know that planning a Universal Orlando vacation can be overwhelming. And we know once you get down to the hot Florida weather here in Orlando, it can be overwhelming with everything going on in the parks. But again, that's why we created this list of the best things to do to get you a little bit more familiar with all of the great activities that you can experience. And if you are overwhelmed and you do need a little additional help, that's what we're here for. Like, like I said, that's why we created this video. If you need some additional resources, be sure to go check out our website, theparkprodigy.com. We have a bunch of free vacation planning tools. We have a bunch of discounted theme park tickets. Essentially everything you need to be as prepared as possible and to do number one on the list, which is have fun on your Universal Orlando vacation. I think that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys again so, so much for checking out this video. Until next time, I will talk to you soon.